Hello, and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series looking at everything around fintech. We're filming here at the Mars Discovery District in Toronto. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Fatini Agrafiotti, who's Chief Science Officer at Borealis AI. Fatini, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Why did RBC create a research institute really looking at AI and machine learning? It's quite unusual, right? <laughs> Well, uh, for a number of reasons, really. Uh, we've, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence is one of those technologies that can be extremely transformative uh, for uh, enterprises. Uh, there's uh, so many different applications of machine learning in our world, whether that's for fraud analysis, customer service, um, cybersecurity. There's uh, many different uh, areas uh, across our businesses that we leverage machine learning to make better predictions. Uh, so it, it made a lot of sense strategically to be inventing um, technologies that could be leveraged inside the bank. Uh, but there's another reason for that as well, which is that um, Canada has been at the forefront of um, AI academically uh, with the work that has come out from uh, the University of Toronto, University of Montreal and University of Alberta in Edmonton. Uh, in deep learning and reinforcement learning that has really become breakthrough technologies and uh, led to all this new wave uh, in artificial intelligence. And so we wanted to help uh, commercialize some of these technologies here in Canada and create an environment where people can do uh, fundamental research after they finish uh, their university degrees. Excellent. Uh, but how does this really differ from the innovation labs? Uh, you know, a lot of banks are setting those up, but how does a research institute really differ from that? I think what sets Borealis AI apart, um, it's the fact that we focus on fundamental and applied research in machine learning. Um, I think to a certain extent, it's quite easy to spin up labs that leverage state-of-the-art technologies to build innovative solutions. It's a bit harder to try to push the boundaries of science. And so under Borealis AI, there's two teams. There's the theoretical machine learning team, uh, that designs completely new algorithms, tries to invent um, completely new solutions that we then publish in academic conferences and scientific journals. And then there is applied machine learning, a team that leverages that innovation and deploys that for the financial services industry, but also beyond. And that's something else that I think sets Borealis AI apart, is that we have a wider mandate uh, beyond financial services we're really looking to um, try to solve problems that can help our societies uh, move forward, that will have more societal impact, like address problems perhaps in global warming. Okay. So what are applications uh, is the research lab looking into at the moment? We're currently exploring a number of applications, both in theory and applied. Um, in, on the theoretical side, we're investigating methods for generative adversarial networks. We're also doing research in reinforcement learning, which is an area of machine learning that we are extremely passionate about because of the sequential nature of financial data that makes it very suitable for these particular techniques. On the applied machine learning side, we're looking at applications in fraud detection and anomaly detection, for example, in credit card transactions. Uh, we, we've deployed uh, projects in cybersecurity where we used uh, natural language processing algorithms to analyze internet activity and automatically detect malicious code. Um, and we're also very um, invested in analyzing news and information as it becomes available. Uh, we want to try to uh, understand how different events that are going on around the world can potentially affect the North American markets, even though they may be seemingly disconnected uh, when they first occur. Okay. Uh, how hard is it, though, to really attract talent that you need academic talent to the Research Institute, especially when it's uh, you know, a bank running it, really? You have to create the right environment to attract the, uh, the researchers uh, to join this kind of effort. Uh, what Borealis AI has enabled is a place where we can do uh, research, fundamental research, curiosity-driven research, uh, with academic freedom. Uh, this means that every researcher uh, on this team uh, picks their own research direction and we give them the freedom to pursue that. Uh, this is extremely important to us. They've, they're also enabled to publish their research results uh, in academic conferences, and that's another side of it that we're, we're extremely passionate about, the fact that we're not just users of science, but we contribute back to the scientific community. 
Another side of that is, of course, the uh, access that we have to uh, enormous, uh, massive data sets uh, that are extremely pervasive um, and they capture a very interesting aspect of, of the markets. The Research Institute is based here at Mars. What is the benefits of that? Um, both of our locations are actually strategically located very close to universities. Uh, in Toronto, our office is uh, in Mars, which is uh, right inside the University of Toronto campus. In Edmonton, our office is uh, within the University of Alberta. Uh, this is extremely important to us because um, universities feel like home uh, to most of us. We are academics. Um, none of us have actually ever held a job in, uh, in a large enterprise, uh, no, uh, even a bank, uh, before. Uh, but this is because this is a very open uh, scientific environment, and it's extremely important for us to be very closely located to uh, other research scientists, people that we collaborate with, so we can exchange ideas very easily. Particularly Mars in Toronto, which um, has been investing more and more in artificial intelligence and looking around the tenants in this building as the Vector Institute, Uber, um, Element AI, uh, all of these are partners of ours in this ecosystem and we're very excited to be working next to them. Great. Thank you so much, Fatimi. My pleasure.